Hi fellow makeup fans, today I'm going to do a review on some cosmetics from a company called Stargazer Cosmetics. Now they have sent me these products to review so I didn't purchase them and I'm going to give a full honest review on them. Now they sent me 12 products and I've actually used 5 today. Like how it's turned out. It's kind of like a very galaxy sort of look. So I got in touch with Stargazer Cosmetics and I spoke to a lovely lady called Kat and she checked out my channel through the link that I sent her and she said that they would be interested in sending me some products to review on my channel which is what I'm doing today and I'm very excited about doing this because I do love Stargazer Cosmetics. Now how I found Stargazer Cosmetics was because I was actually looking for a red eyeshadow to use in a look that I wanted to do but also I wanted red eyeshadow to do some looks that I wanted to do for my 13 Days of Horror. So I set about having a little bit of a look online and I came across Stargazer Cosmetics. Now I had actually heard of them before that point and I'd had a couple of eyeshadows before that point what quite a long time before and I got those from New Look because New Look used to sell Stargazer Cosmetics. They no longer sell them which is a big shame um, because since I got the palettes to get the red colour I'm just absolutely loving their eyeshadows so it's a shame that New Look no longer stock them and I'd love to see them on a high street because I think that they would do really really well. They're really reasonably priced and they're great products. Now the items that I've got, I'll show you a few things, not everything. I've got a couple of these um, glitter shaker pots which are fantastic. I've got a cake eyeliner and I've got some single shadows and I picked the single shadows up in we have an in shops at our galleries which is basically just like a market really it's like a big one big room and it's got lots of little sellers in their own individual little cubicles so um and there's a little cosmetic store within there that sells a lot of makeup that you don't see everywhere they sell like Constance Carol and lots of different brands that you don't see in um in your high street in places like Superdrug and Boots um, but this little store sells a lot of stuff that you used to see in chemists and things like that because chemists um, tended to have a lot of ranges of products that you couldn't get elsewhere. I initially bought these two palettes. I got one from the Stargazer site I got the other one from eBay. Um, they're great. They look like artist palettes which I think is just really quite a nice touch and when you open them up inside they look like artist palettes the way that they've got the shadows displayed. And the shadows are huge, that's what I will say first off. And look at the colours, the colours are totally amazing. Um, I think this palette's gorgeous. I got this for the neon colours and they don't disappoint, they are just beautiful neon colours. If you want to check out my reviews on these products when I first got them, then I will put the links to those videos in the information bar below so you can check those out. And I have used these in a number of looks and they have appeared in other videos such as my Colours of the Rainbow tag. Um, but this is the first palette that I ever got. And I got this one from the Stargazer site and I got it for this totally amazing red up here because I was doing a look that required a red and that is how pigmented it is. Really amazing. Love the pigmentation on these. They're very soft and creamy and they're just so different. These colours are just things that I haven't seen anywhere else. So I feel like the quality is not only great on Stargazer shadows but the value of the product is also fantastic as well. I think I paid, I'm not entirely sure, I think it was around £16 for this. Um, which is really good because these shadows are really huge and they're just, I don't know, they're massive. <laughs> they're fantastic. Um, this green is just really, really <coughs> fantastic. Look at that. It's coming up more of a, it's like a, mm, is it chartreuse? These colours are fantastic. I highly recommend these palettes. And I emailed Stargazer because I didn't know what the names of the shadows were because it didn't come with that information with the palette. So I wanted to know what they had because I wanted to basically um, add some more of their shadows to my collection and get some single ones. So I emailed them and they sent me all of the names of all of the shadows back very quickly, which I thought was great. So their customer services is also very good on their website. So the products that I got sent. First I'm going to talk about the products that I'm not wearing today. So these are the seven products that I'm not wearing so I'll talk about these ones first. And the first thing I'm pulling out here is one of these pearl eyeshadows and I'm going to put my glasses on so I can see. This is in Funky Fuchsia and it's a star pearl eyeshadow. Now it's different from the standard ones because it has this sort of starburst pattern on it. And you can see it's a really beautiful fuchsia colour. It's got quite a nice sparkle to it. And I'm going to do some swatches on my hand for you so you can see what the colours look like. 
And that's what that one looks like. As you can see, lovely pigmentation and a lovely sort of shimmery pearlized shadow. Very nice, love that, that's a beautiful pink. And I didn't pick any of the things that they sent me. Um, they basically checked the link out on my channel and then said they would send me some products. So they've picked these products out. I feel like they've picked me some colours that are very definitely me. I feel that um, there's some great choices here of colours. So thank you very much for that, Kat. Um, I love what you sent me. Now the next thing I'm going to show you is another eyeshadow. And this is from the standard range. This is just a pressed powder and this one's called Rouge. Yeah, it's coming up pretty much true to colour. It's a fantastic colour. It's a pinky, orangey, neon colour. Now, I actually own this colour already in the palette because in the neons palette, this colour is in there. But I'm going to swatch it for you. So you can see there, that is just a beautifully pigmented colour. That's it there. It's just very strong. Now, neon colours... I would recommend with any brand that you put a white eyeshadow or a light eyeshadow base under such as Lemonade or the Dainty Doll eyeshadow base that kind of gives you sort of a, a white sort of canvas to work on. Neons always work better on a, ne on a white canvas whether it be a neon that's from a, a, a lower brand or a higher brand. I don't think there's any distinction. I don't think that neons work very well on a skin tone. I think they always look a little bit better on top of a white shadow but that is what it looks like. And what I'm going to do is, I've got an eyeshadow that I purchased from Stargazer, and this one's just in white. So there's the white there. It's not coming up quite so well. Um, but in person, this actually looks like a proper neon colour now, but you can actually see that there is a difference between the two um, oranges there. Um, it's a true neon when you put a white under it. So these shadows are just fantastic. Like I said, they're just really beautifully pigmented. They work really well. They blend really nicely with other shadows. So I'm already highly impressed with the pressed shadows. The next thing is an eyeshadow pen and it's a metallic eyeshadow pen in gold. And that's what this one looks like. Now this is not a colour I would normally wear. I'll be honest about that because I'm not into very yellowy golds. But that doesn't mean I can't review it. Now look at that. This is a very creamy pencil and you just get lovely colour payoff. That's just one swipe. It works really well. It's not hard. Sometimes eyeshadow pencils can be quite hard. This is very soft. You immediately get that colour payoff straight onto your skin and you're not having to work too hard to do it, which is great because the eye area is very delicate. You don't want to be having to rub and rub and rub with an eyeshadow pencil or pen and to get any kind of colour payoff. The next things are two pigments. So these are called eye dusts and they're numbered. So this one is 47 and that is what it looks like. It's a very bright pink and it's got some what looks like gold shimmer in it. So that's the colour there and as you can see it's got lovely gold shimmer particles in there. It's really nice, seems to blend out quite nicely. Um, I think that it, it does blend out easily though so it's very very fine pigment so I think I would recommend that you put water use this with water and you'll get a much better payoff than just applying it just as it is as a powder and um, pigments are like that as a rule anyway they do work a lot better with water because it just seems to bind them together a lot better and because this this is a dust it kind of does dust away off the skin very easily so if you used water with this it would be a lot better but that is a very pretty colour and then the other colour, I love this colour, it's amazing. This one's number 29 and it looks like it's a beautiful sort of soft brown colour, like a mink. So this is what this one looks like in the tub. This is so pretty, it's a lovely colour. And that's it there. And look at it. It's one of those very holographic sort of colours. In fact, it's coming off very purply pink. And that is what it's like. It's just an amazing colour. It's got a brown base to it, which you can kind of see as I move my hand. But then the top tones are purple and pink. So I literally could not wait to use this colour in a look because I just think it's just so different and just so unusual. So the next product I'm going to show you is a lipstick. Now what I will say, um, which I haven't mentioned as I've been going, is Stargaze um, packaging is very simple looking. 
it's nothing dramatic it's not fancy packaging and I think that's where they can come in with such an affordable price their, pro their products are really well priced the link to their website will be in the information bar below so you can check that out and have a look at their prices their um, delivery is very affordable and when I did get my palette it came very quickly and it was well wrapped and packed so I was very impressed with that so the packaging and I say that because this lipstick packaging is incredibly basic it's just got a clear lid and it just says lipstick on the side I like these kinds of lids um I know not everybody does but you can literally put them in your drawer and you can just look down and you can see what color that is without having to pull it out you don't have to look at the name it's great I have to wear glasses and I don't wear my glasses when I put my makeup on so it's good to be able to identify what color you're looking at and that is what this one looks like. This is totally amazing. I had this on this morning. I had a little go with it. It's a beautiful fire engine bright red colour. That is what it looks like. And this one is 135. A bright red colour. Love it. And you can see I've worn that one today. What I will say about this is it does have that old fashioned lipstick smell. Now it really takes me back to when I was little when I used to use my auntie's leftover makeup. She would use put makeup in a bag that she didn't use anymore and I would play with it and I loved it. And this smells like old fashioned lipstick, like what you would get in chemists. You know when you get to the chemists and you used to try the lipsticks on and things like that from Constance Carroll and all that kind of thing. It's got that old fashioned lipstick, proper old lipstick smell, which isn't bad because to be honest, although when I first sniffed it, because I sniff lipsticks, because your lips are right under your nose, so you need to know what it's going to smell like because, you know, sometimes things don't smell very nice. Like, I can't wear Rimmel lip glosses because they don't smell very nice. Um, but yes, I sniffed it. Yes, I'm a lipstick sniffer. <laughs> Confession. Right. <laughs> totally off topic. Anyway, I tried this on and I loved it. I loved how it looks on the lips. Now, the smell doesn't stay. Um, you put the lipstick on, less than a minute that smell is gone, you can't smell it, you can't, which is great because you don't want to, I don't particularly like that old fashioned lipstick smell, I wouldn't want it to be lingering around on my lips but it doesn't so that's a, a plus point really. Now these are very creamy, I've got one on my lips now which I'm going to show you coming up. They're really nice on the lips, when you first put them on they feel quite thick, I did feel like I needed to put two swipes of the colour on to get a full colour payoff. Uh, but Although at first when you put them on they feel quite thick, once you rub your lips together and get the lipstick warmed up, it actually feels really nice on the lips. It's like I've got this one on now and I don't really feel like I've got it on. It just feels nice and creamy on the lips and moisturising. So I was really impressed because I've never tried a Stargaze lipstick before and they're really nice and that colour is amazing. And the last thing in my little box here is an eyeliner. Now, I'm not going to wear this eyeliner probably um, in everyday makeup. This is a very unusual eyeliner but this is totally amazing and you will see this definitely in my 13 days of horror because this is a red eyeliner. That is the colour. And again the packaging is great, it just says eyeliner. Very simple, to the point, you're not paying excess amount of money because they've done fancy packaging, it is just incredibly simple which is why I like about the brand. And that's it there. Wow, I cannot wait to use this in the 13 days of horror look. I have a look, but this is just going to look totally amazing with. Um, yeah, can't wait. It actually is a really nice eyeliner. It's already drying, so I'm really impressed with that and I just love it. It's a red eyeliner. <laughs> what I like about the brand is they dare to do colours like this. Colours that no, none of the high street brands do, but some of us do want to wear eye, red eyeshadow. They do want to wear red eyeliner. Why can't we have those colours? To be honest, I'm going to try and do sort of a burlesque, sort of vintage pinup type of look and use that and use the red lipstick. And I think it'll be great. I, I think they're lovely. Now we're going to move on to the products that I've got on my face today. I've got five products on today. So this lipstick is in 210. And this is a matte lipstick. Now, when I first looked at this, I was like, mm, this is quite a nice colour, you know. Mm, you know. It didn't grab me loads. And then I swatched it. There it is there. And I was like, oh, it's okay. Uh, and this is a matte lipstick, but it feels really nice on the lips. 
it feels very creamy which is good because you don't want a, like a matte lipstick some matte lipsticks can be quite drying on the lips but this actually feels really lovely and I love this color <laughs> it's such a beautiful peach it's like it's not too light where it's that concealer type of look that not a lot of people can pull off I like to wear the concealer type look but I think when you've got like hair like this you can tend to get away with a lot more and I've had this on for a good hour now and it's lasted well and I kissed Alec goodbye and I've had a drink and it's still there so I love it so is that there? it's just a very natural peachy pink the next thing that I've got on is this now I've never seen these from the brand um, and it is a baked shadow and this one is in the colour denim and I feel like they just totally checked out my channel and just totally tuned in to the colours that I love because there is my favourite aqua colour. And then you've got this beautiful, very dark, bluey, purple, inky sort of indigo colour. I have applied them separately with a little brush. But there is the dark colour and there is the light colour. That's together. What I did was I just used the whole colour across the lid um, as a base. And then I took the indigo type colour and I have that in the crease above another colour and then the aqua colour I have on the inner portion of the eye. So the aqua colour is here and then the indigo -y sort of colour is up in the crease. And I just used a little pencil brush to get in and do the colours. I might have liked it a little better. I mean, I love how it looks. I might have liked it better if it was one half of the indigo and then one half of the aqua. And then I could definitely use them as two separate colours a lot easier. But I just used a pencil brush and the pencil brush got into the individual colours without picking up the other colour and it worked perfectly fine for me that way. As a brow highlight and an inner eye highlight, I've got on this eyeshadow. And this is another one of their pearl eyeshadows. And again, it's got that beautiful starburst pattern on it. It's really, really nice. And this one is in Peach Flush. That is it there. Now, as you can see, it really just more to me comes off as a very peachy champagne sort of pearlized colour. It catches the light beautifully. And I've actually got that on the inner eye corners and the brows. It's a lot less um, in your face than putting on a white. So as you can see, it's on the inner eye and then on my brow as well. Really beautiful highlight colour. Absolutely love it. Then also on the eyes, I have got an eyeshadow pen. They don't do these in a huge amount of colours. Okay, so I thought I had another one of these. I bought one of these in red because I wanted to use that for my upcoming 13 Days of Horror video. But it's not there. And I don't know, things keep disappearing in this house. It's a very strange thing, but... I don't know where it's gone. It's very strange. But anyway, they don't come in a massive variety of colours. Um, but this one is in purple. It's a really pretty purple. It's quite a vibrant colour. Trying to find a clean patch. And it's just really beautifully creamy. That's it there. Um, what I will say though is I put this on top of a powder shadow and I felt like I had to put quite a lot of it on and pat it down because it was moving around so I think it's it's quite an oily sort of greasy sort of eyeshadow pen and it didn't work too well on top of a powder so I probably wear this straight on top of an eyeshadow base and not put the powder underneath. I actually put the full colour across the lids and I think it would have been better if I just put this on first and then brought the other colours to it. I mean the other colours blend beautifully in with it and on top of it and in fact you can actually see it's gone sort of a fuchsia colour in places where it's over another colour but I think you can also see that it's kind of fading quite quickly on this eye and um, it does wipe away very easily off the skin um, it's not a very long lasting it's not like some of the eyeshadow pencils that um, you put them on and then they set pretty quickly like Urban Decay, like the collection ones that have just recently come out. This has an oily sort of texture to it and I think that it kind of moves around. So I'm going to try this with just an eyeshadow base under it because I think it'll work a lot better and I'll feed back to you about that and let you know whether that's improved how it works. The last thing is an eyeliner and this is a glitter liner. And it's in a coppery sort of rosy gold sort of colour. Now the problem with some of these liners, these glitter liners, is they burn 
<sighs> they burn me. Um, not burn, but when you put them on, they feel uncomfortable. You can feel like a stinging sensation on your eye. And I'm always a little bit nervous to use glitter liners because of that. Now, um, some of the Urban Decay do that to me. The Too Faced, I only got one of them and it did it to me. Didn't like it. So when I put this on, I was very nervous about if this was going to have the same effect. It didn't burn at all. I haven't had any discomfort, so I was really pleased about that. So I'd probably invest in some more of these because I do love a glitter liner. Um, but um, yeah, I don't like that feeling. Now I'll put a bit more on. It's really pretty. And I love glitter on the eyes, love it. So that's a fantastic product. So that's everything. They sent me 12 products. So I was really pleased when Stargazer said yes and they wanted to send me some products for me to review on my channel because I just love the brand. I do wish it was more readily available, but definitely check out their website, which again is linked in the information bar below. You can purchase their items on eBay, um, but also a little st small sort of makeup stands tend to sell their stuff. I want to thank the lovely Kat um, at Stargazer Cosmetics who sent these things to me for consideration. I love the choices that you um, picked out for me, and yes, thank you very much. And I hope you have enjoyed this review. Any questions or comments please leave them below. Again all links are in the information bar to Stargazer themselves and my reviews on their palettes and thank you very much for watching. I'm gonna love you and leave you and see you all soon.